The only major Jewish candidate to replace Michael Bloomberg as mayor of New York City is Anthony Weiner. And while the former congressman is a regional political heavyweight, he's made a habit out of being in the news for all the wrong reasons. I have said that other texts and photos were likely to come out, and today they have. As I've said in the past, these things that I did were wrong and hurtful to my wife. Sound familiar? Wiener first made headlines back in 2011 when it was revealed that the married politician was sending sexually explicit texts and pictures to women he'd met on the Internet. The resulting backlash forced him to resign from Congress. Now new allegations have surfaced that he'd engaged in similar behavior even after his resignation. Allegations that have caused turmoil in his bid for the coveted Democratic nomination for the mayor of New York City, a race in which he'd been considered a surprising frontrunner. For Peter Schenkman, a former PR consultant, Wiener's stumbles don't come as a surprise. For him, Wiener's handling of the first sexting scandal showed his lack of judgment. This is New York. Uh, we get bored very easily. We have a very short attention span. We would have used this story, it would have, we would have uh, laughed at it for eight hours, and had he apologized, we would have moved on. Instead, he kept it alive for eight weeks. He did everything wrong, and based on that principle alone of not knowing when to shut up, he should not be allowed back into public office. The latest allegations have caused many in the city's political and media establishment to call on him to withdraw from the race, something he says he won't do. One person who still supports him, though, is his wife, Huma Abedin, an aide to Hillary Clinton. Anthony's made some horrible mistakes, both before he resigned from Congress and after. But I do very strongly believe that that is between us and our, our marriage. According to Columbia political science professor Bob Shapiro, that support had been the pillar of the effort to rehabilitate his image during this campaign. I think working in Wiener's favor big time is the fact that he was able to keep his marriage intact, keeping in mind that his, that his wife is actually a big person in democratic politics as well. Shapiro also pointed out that before this latest scandal at least, name recognition, even for sexting, has some advantages. Once the candidate gets their attention, uh, candidates can then uh, uh, basically tell the, tell the voters why they should vote for them. Wiener it gets, <laughs> for better or for worse, immediate attention given his uh, n notoriety. However, for some New Yorkers, the circus that surrounds Wiener has become too much. I had respect for his political opinions, but um, I'm, I'm just not interested in this situation at all. He's a sex addict. He doesn't belong in politics. Even before the latest allegations, despite his Jewish background, Wiener had yet to make any major inroads into that sizable community here. The Jewish vote is very much divided. Uh, there's four candidates who are all getting about roughly 20 percent, Wiener being one of them. Uh, but no one is, you know, kind of connected with the Jewish community at all in terms of um, any uh, real support. Um, in fact, Wiener's favorable, unfavorables, uh, his negatives are the highest of all the candidates, and he's got the highest negatives uh, of any of the candidates, Democrats, among Jewish voters. The latest news certainly won't win him many votes, Jewish or otherwise. Still, for some New Yorkers, it's all about the issues, not a politician's personal life. I don't think that um, texting or sexting or doing anything sexual is, uh, is a mark of, uh, of what makes a person a bad leader. I think it, it's a separate uh, issue. The latest Marist poll numbers indicate that Wiener's window may be closing. He's given up his frontrunner status, and his unfavorable ratings among likely Democratic voters have skyrocketed. He'll surely face relentless media pressure in the coming days and weeks, and we'll see if he can hold on. This is Ira Spitzer for JN1 in New York.